Hello friends and book babes, welcome back to Book Mist. So yesterday was kind of a bust on the book side of things. <laughs> Literally went to a coffee shop, planned on going to the library, realized the library was closed, and then forgot that books were necessary for book miss. But it's okay. Do you forgive me? I hope you forgive me. We're gonna fix that today because we are going to go to my favorite used bookstore that's closing. It's closing down. They sent me a text because I'm on their little rewards text thing and he said they're closing in February because he's retiring. So Love that for him, but also hating my life a little bit because of that. But because it's closing, today is the first day of his little uh, closing sale or whatever. So we're going to go see what they got. Low-key, might not get anything. <laughs> I might not get anything. I don't know. I know for sure I'm probably not going to get any Christmas books, which kind of defeats the purpose of Book Miss a bit. Like, I feel like I'm supposed to get Christmas books. Someone tell me if they relate in the comments. But for some reason, like that genre, holiday books, I just don't want to own those. Like I'd rather just read them on my Kindle and call it a day. I don't know why, but yeah. Unless it's a classic because obviously you have to have a Christmas carol. If you get anything, it's probably not going to be a Christmas book. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. Here's the fit. Just do do do. Something cozy. It, the snow is still there from yesterday. The sun is out. And I don't know how to dress for Colorado still. Like, even though there's literal, literal snow everywhere, the sun is out. And the sun just be sunning a little too much here. And so, like, I feel like it's going to be kind of hot. <laughs> so, whatever. Let's just go to the bookstore. <laughs> You're in my steering wheel. I wasn't in there for too long. It was actually pretty busy. I don't know why I wasn't expecting it to be that busy. Cause I was like, oh, I'm going like an hour after they open. Like it's not gonna be that busy. I think book talk has made me forget that a big chunk of the reading demographic is elderly people. <laughs> and elderly people wake up at like 5 a.m. So yeah, there's still a lot in stock. I don't know how I always do this. Every time I go to a used bookstore, I always end up wanting the book that is new. Like one that they ordered for the store, not one that somebody donated. And so it's always like not a significant difference in price. It's usually the same price, um, which I don't mind still because I'd rather give the full price money to a local business compared to like Amazon or something anyways. <sighs> but with all that to say, I ended up just getting one book. This girl, it's just not in the budget, okay? <laughs> okay, going crazy for some books is not in the budget, even if they are discounted. It's crazy because last time I was at this store, I had the hardcover of this one, um, but I was like, ooh, I don't want hardcover. Y'all know how I feel about hardcovers. I don't like hardcovers, so I'm not gonna get it. But then I walk in, the first thing I see is the paperback version of, what even is this? <laughs> House of Sky and Breath. I just call it the Crescent City series. I haven't even read it, 
like I bought the Crescent City the first one whatever it is whatever house it is I bought it on Pango Books on a whim I just woke up one day wanting to buy stuff and I just like looked up stuff online and so I got that and so now I'm like okay gotta get this I'm probably not going to read it for like another year or two <laughs> if I'm being honest just because the ending of this one got spoiled for me and I'm gonna try my very best to forget but I know I'm not because it involves like one of my favorite people one of my favorite book characters so yeah I'm gonna try and also I want the paperback version of the third one which the third one comes out I think in January so it's gonna be hardcover so it's not gonna come out in paperback to like a year from now anyways so yeah all that to say I got just this one and it is new there's a sticker that says it's new at least it's new quality but local business profit hopefully I like the series I don't know <laughs> since I'm already getting all the stuff required for it but I'm very hungry I didn't eat before coming um, and so I think we're going to go to my favorite little um, Middle Eastern Greek whatever I don't really know the region <laughs> of this food because I think it's similar for both but we're gonna go to um, my favorite Greek Middle Eastern place and get some food so friends don't look at friends that way. <laughs> I'm out of breath from the stairs. <laughs> Our new friend gets a seat. Here's my bookshelves, by the way. Well, one of them. I have another one over there. Um, I don't like having too many books, to be honest. I feel like such a, such a, I'm not like other girls when I say that, <laughs> that I don't like having a lot of books, but I genuinely don't. Like, I... Listen, my trauma response <laughs> to living in a house of hoarders is to not have anything, okay? And so I don't really like having a lot of books. I just like having books that I know I'll either reread a lot or I like want to collect, which there's not very many books where I'm like, let me collect those other than classics. I feel like classics make sense to collect. <laughs> Why did I literally forget that word completely? Okay, anyways, I don't know where to put these. I guess I'll put them here. I want to get rid of these. I mean, I haven't even read them, but I kind of just... Like, I don't want to. <laughs> like, I just feel it in my bones that I'll never read these. I might get rid of them. I might put them on Pingo Books or something. But, there's your sister! We'll need to get the prequel for The Priory of the Orange Tree, even though I haven't even read the actual book yet. <laughs> I don't like having a lot of books, <laughs> but we'll need to acquire that at some point. I just saw on TikTok that Robert Downey Jr. and Mark Ruffalo did an Actors on Actors. So I'm going to watch that while I eat my yummy food. Let me show you my yummy food. Hold on. Actually, ah! <laughs> actually, let me take off my pants before I do that. <laughs> If you need to know anything about me, it's that I'm a Dr. Pepper girly, through and through. I'm a Dr. Pepper girly. I do go through phases though. I'm a, I, I think I have ADHD. ADHD! <laughs> ADHD! <laughs> um, I, but really the only thing that makes me feel like I might have ADHD is the tendency to hyperfixate on things. And I hyperfixate a lot on like so many things, even like the food I eat, I'll hyperfixate. Like, or like the drinks I have. Cause I like Dr. Pepper, I like Mountain Dew, I like vanilla coke specifically i like pepsi like i like a lot of drinks right but it depends on what i'm hyper fixating on so like right now i've been hyper fixating on dr pepper for um, i don't know like a month no for like two months it's been the longest i've hyper fixated on a drink in a while like literally look at my fridge I have is Dr. Pepper, some skincare right here, and then some wine. 
Oh, that's my fridge. It's, it's a beverage frizz, frid, it, it's a beverage fridge with like two skincare things and they're both for my ass. No one cares. Um, I was going to say something before this and I don't remember what it was, but since we're talking about hyperfixation, let's talk about it because I also crocheted a lot in like June it's all I really wanted to do. I wouldn't, I didn't even like pick up Kingdom of Ash, the last book in the Throne of Glass series. I didn't even want to pick it up because I wanted to crochet so much. All I ever did was crochet. And then everyone was like, you should start an Etsy. And I was like, first of all, I'm not good enough to do that. Number two, give it like a month. I'll probably not even do it anymore. <laughs> and guess what? By July, I, like, since July, I haven't looked at my crochet hook. I don't even know where it is. I hyperfixate on singers, albums, everything. Like, Renee Rapp, she's all I've been listening to, really, as of recently. Before that, Taylor Swift. Before that, Five Sauce. Before that... I don't know. I'm probably gonna film a tier ranking video. Um, cause I actually really liked it. That The first time I did it was for day one of Vlogmas and I actually really enjoyed it. Bookmas, not Vlogmas. I need to remember. I keep acting like this is Vlogmas or something and forgetting to like talk about books, having a bookish theme around. Terrible at my job, I'm terrible at it. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, I'm gonna, after I eat, let me show you my freaking food. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, I just keep blabbing. That's all I ever do. Let me get my drink. <laughs> let me get my drink so I can sit down right after I show you my food. But, yes, after I eat and watch Actors on Actors, <laughs> I am going to probably film the video I'm talking about, but I have to wait until my grandma takes a nap because she be downstairs in the living room having the TV on so freaking loud. <laughs> like, I, I know what she's watching from downstairs because it's so freaking loud and she doesn't think it's that loud. But, you know, that's what, that's what grandmas do. <laughs> I got a chicken plate. Um, I was going to upgrade it with rice, but... Unfortunately, they were out of rice. It was going to take like 40 minutes for it to be ready. And I was like, girl, I haven't had breakfast. Just no rice, I guess. I don't know. I don't need, I guess I don't need the extra carbs or something. <laughs> yes. Oh my God. <laughs> every time, every time I look at this, every time I have the same reaction. It just looks so scrumptious. Oh my god. I can't. I can't wait. Okay, let me get my actors on actors going. Who all... Hmm. Who do y'all want to see do an actors on actors? I don't even know who all does them. I only watched um, Ellen Pompeo and Catherine Hegel. Is that her last name? I don't even know her. I, I don't know her last name. But <laughs> I only, that was like the first one I ever watched because I was like, oh my gosh, Grey's, I'm a Grey's Anatomy girly. Not recently. After Meredith left, I was like, whatever. But yeah. So that was the first one I ever watched. And then after that, I saw Zendaya and Andrew Garfield did one. And I was like, oh my gosh, let me watch that. So yeah. I think I would want like Tom Hiddleston and Chris Hemsworth or somebody. That would be great. You guys know I'm... Well, you probably don't know, actually. I don't think I've ever talked about Avengers. <laughs> I love Loki. I love Tom Hiddleston. <sighs> my man, my man, my man. I want them to do a singers on singers or something like that. And I want, like... I don't know who I want, actually. <laughs> but they do actors on actors. They've done directors on directors. So I feel like now... It's time to do singers on singers or something. I don't know. Okay, this is really turning into a vlog. I've been talking for like 10 minutes. I just won't shut up. I just won't shut up, guys. I'm, I'm so sorry. Okay, this is going to be the end because really there's nothing left to do that's book related. 
I could talk forever, truly, but I don't know if y'all want that. So <laughs> we are going to probably end the vlog here. I'll show you my food one more time. <sighs> I can't wait. Okay. And then there's, there's Robert. There's Robert already. I love him so much. Anyways, I... I have an outro. I was about to just end it. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on my socials. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.